You've already learned how to do quite a bit with strings. In this video, you'll learn how to slice and dice them into smaller strings. Let's say you want to extract more than just one character from a string. The program above prints the first four characters, characters 0 through 3, of the string S. But what if you want to print the first seven characters? Do you really have to string them all together using the plus sign? Nope, you can use what's called a slice instead. A slice uses a range of indices to specify a portion of a string with an arbitrary length. A slice works like this. Inside the square brackets, you put the starting index, a colon, and the index that is one past the ending index. So in this case, we get the characters whose indices are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We stop just short of the character at index 7. Here's another example. We start at index 2, the space, and stop just shy of index 6, the R. If you leave off the first index, Python will assume 0. This basically means start at the beginning and go up to but not including index 6. If you leave off the second index, Python will assume it needs to go to the end of the string. In this example, this means start at index 3 and go to the end. Unlike with single character indexing, when you use a range to slice a string, using a completely bogus index doesn't cause an error. In this case, Python sees that you want to go up to but not including 100, and it says, well, this string doesn't even come close to having that many characters, so I'm just going to go to the end. Recall from a previous module that you can use the plus operator on two strings. The plus operator then concatenates those strings. It actually creates a new string that is the result of adding the two original strings together. You can also do this with variables that contain strings. And you can concatenate more than two strings in a single expression by chaining uses of the plus operator. Since a slice is just a new string, you can use slices in concatenation expressions. This expression concatenates the first two characters of greeting with the last character of greeting. To understand what's going on here and how this doesn't break the rules of immutability, let's take a look inside the computer. This simple program actually creates four strings in your computer's memory, though some of these are only temporary. Let's step through this one line at a time. When the interpreter executes the first line, it creates a new string in the computer's memory. To evaluate the second line, the Python interpreter needs to evaluate each part of the plus operation. When it evaluates the left part, it creates a temporary string that just contains high. It also creates a temporary string when it evaluates the right part. This temporary string just holds an exclamation mark. Finally, it takes the two temporary strings and concatenates them, which makes a third temporary string. This is the one that gets given to print and displayed on the console. All right, let's use this in a real world example. Let's say we're responsible for coming up with abbreviations for rooms at a school. And the formula for a room abbreviation is it's the first two letters of the building name followed by the room number. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user for the building name, then we're going to ask the user for the room number, and finally we're going to use slicing and concatenation to generate the abbreviation. So first things first, building name, good to go. Now I'm going to ask for the room number, and I'm going to put a quick comment here that says leave this as a string. So we're not actually going to convert the room number to an integer. We're just going to leave it as a string because we're not going to do anything numerical with it. All right, room number input room number. OK, and now I'm going to generate the abbreviation. Once again, this requires concatenating the first two letters of the building name. So I'm going to say building name slice up to but not including index 2. So this will get the characters at indices 0 and 1. I'm just going to stick that next to the room number. And then finally, I'm going to print it. All right, so let's test this out. OK, building name, cloud hall, room number 45, CL45. 